Hi, I'm Megan. And I'm Andrew. And welcome to Cooking, Cooking Stage, Stage Left. Left. The show where Andrew teaches me and everyone watching how to make something delicious. So what are we making this episode? Okay, so today we are using puff pastry again. Because it's, an, it's just a, a product that I love, an ingredient that I love. It's so versatile. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are making prosciutto gruyere pinwheel puffs. Mm. So fantastic little appetizer-y thing, uh, good snacking, uh, yeah. delicious. So it's going to be layers of uh, prosciutto and gruyere and honey mustard wrapped up in puff pastry. And uh, my mouth is watering already. I know. I'm just Seriously. talking about it. <laughs> They're so delicious. A little yeah. more complicated than our previous puff pastry uh, episode, but um, I, you're ready. You're you ready for it. this. We're, we got, got this. We're going to do this. We're going to do you it. got this. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> prosciutto and gruyere pinwheel puffs. Here we go. Curtains, Curtains up, up, burners on. on. So let's go through our ingredients list for our prosciutto gruyere pinwheel puffs. Yes. Prosciutto yes. gruyere pinwheel puffs. Uh, so <laughs> as we mentioned, uh, we'll be using puff pastry again. Uh, we are using obviously uh, prosciutto. Mm -hmm. And then actually it's got two cheeses in it, uh, gruyere and uh, Parmigiano Reggiano. Uh, so we will grate those up before we use them. Nice. And then uh, just honey mustard, a simple honey mustard. Uh, we've got some flour on hand for rolling out our puff pastry. But that's it. Uh, some really very few ingredients, but nice ingredients, mm -hmm. you know? So, mm -hmm. like, when you put these really lovely ingredients together, again, big wow factor. Um, mm -hmm. It's simple. There's some fun in rolling it. But, um, again, pretty easy recipe today on Cooking Stage Left. Okay. Okay, so we're going to dive into our prosciutto and gruyere pinwheel puffs. Mm -hmm. uh, we have our puff pastry here, which, uh, again, comes frozen and uh, then you defrost it for about 24 hours in your refrigerator. And we're gonna throw down some flour here. And then what we're gonna do is lightly roll it out a little bit larger because it starts off a little thick. Do I have the rolling pin out? Do I still have uh, that? Yeah, let me put it over oh, there. Nice there. <clears throat> where did it go? Ooh. All right. So we're going to try and keep this into a rectangle shape as best we can. Okay. So see how we do. And if it doesn't work, then we'll just cut it into a rectangle. Okay. But I will just... <laughs> <laughs> yes. Secrets of chefs. There you go. There you so go. let's see. Uh, let's see if we can cut yeah, it. Yeah, roll it in both directions and try and get it sort of like, you know, maybe sort of like another couple inches on each side. Okay. do is we're going to cut this in half. Okay. So just sort of eyeball it. If I was a real pro, I'd measure this. I'd get out like a ruler and stuff, but, um, nope. Yep. There we go. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> I'm actually going to refold this piece and put it back in the fridge. Cause I think we'll just work the technique with one. Okay, great. And, uh, we'll start with that one. Be right back. <laughs> So we're going to turn it this way towards us because when we, okay. we are, like I said, we're going to roll this. And I'm just checking because uh, puff pastry, again, many layers of dough and uh, butter in there. Yeah. And since we're going to play with this one a little bit, we're going to roll it up. I don't want it to stick. And that's, so we're, we're doing okay right now. Okay. Um, first thing we want to do is we want to brush it with some honey mustard. Excellent. And I've got kind cool. of double the ingredients going on because, again, we would normally be making both halves, but we'll just start it up. So brush it. Leave just a little bit of an edge down here, maybe like a quarter of an inch. Okay. Otherwise, like, brush it. Right. Um, 
and yeah, like that's that's looking like a goodly amount, a good amount there that you want it to like, you want to make sure that it's, it's on there. You don't want it too thick because we're going to be rolling this and you want it like oozing out the sides and sure, stuff. Sure, sure. But um, brushing, brushing, brushing. So our first layer is honey mustard. And generally it's like, you want like a honey Dijon mustard, you know, mm. most, most of them are, you know, so it's like, so it's got a nice sweet flavor to it, but it's also got a nice little bite to it. So yeah, you want to taste that when you're up against all these other rather strong tasting ingredients. Uh, sure. Gruyere, we were just saying as we were grating the Gruyere, it's got a little bit of sort of like a, a nice sort of like funkiness to it, you know, in a good cheese way. Um, so you can really smell that. Uh, the prosciutto is going to be nice and salty in a good way. And then the, and uh, then we've got some, uh, nice nutty and, uh, and salty parmigiana reggiano going on there as well mm -hmm. good stuff and you can bring this down further you can bring this okay. down like again just just like a quarter inch on the bottom there is all we need so like Great. just really a little bit where it's going to seal up at the end Great. all right how does that look looks good looks okay. good all right nice Great. um Next thing that's going to go on is our Gruyere cheese. Okay. And we just, again, want sort of like a thin layer on there. Okay. You want to take it all the way to the edges, too. All the way to the edge. Okay. Yeah. But you don't want any clumps, because, again, this is going to be rolled up. Sure. This is the trickiest part of it, is sort of like just layering the ingredients, and then when we actually do the rolling portion, the roll up, but uh, again, it's a pretty simple recipe. The, the trick of this one is just using really fun, delicious, kind of fancy ingredients and putting them together in this cool way. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't think we mentioned, but it's about, we grated the Gruyere cheese and we have about a cup, maybe sort of like a little hefty cup, you know, and that would get us both halves of this, um, of this pinwheel going on that we're gonna do, but we're only gonna make half of it at the moment. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, good, good, good. Now, I've got about maybe two to three tablespoons of Parmigiano-Reggiano, and we're gonna sort of do the same thing. We're just gonna give it a little light sprinkle. Mm. This is very finely grated. Yeah. It's just soft. When we fresh grated this, you could kind of get a, a pre-grated one. Sometimes it tends to be a little bit drier, mm. um, but I like grating it because it's still parmesan reggiano is a pretty dry cheese it's usually you know it's at least an 18 month to 20 you know two year old cheese oh, wow. but you can feel this again like when you fresh grate it yourself it's very soft and fluffy right you know yeah. it's not like it doesn't it's it doesn't feel like a uh like, like a, a hard cheese yeah like yeah. you know when you get it pre-grated all right now we're almost there now we're going to uh layer some uh prosciutto on it and just thin layers and uh, it's already very thin and it comes in these very thin slices you could actually just get a very thinly sliced other type of ham for this whatever you want to do you know so go ahead you can go ahead and pull off a piece and just okay. well, you might have to like rip it and cut it into shape and we just want to cover to where all the cheese is okay <laughs> again out on parchment paper because it's just easy to work with and we're gonna bake it right on there as well and then you just kind of want to press down the layers a little bit oh you can even give it a light i'm going to just like do this sure. very lightly just a little light roll with the rolling pin they sort of stay together a little bit yeah I'm going to turn it back this way now okay. and starting from the edge you see how we took uh we took it all the way to the edge on one side there right so that's going to be the center of our pinwheel okay so we're going to roll it up roll the whole thing this way and then we're going to slice it into little coins ah, that's what's going to happen right okay, okay. yeah you feel yeah, this you yeah, see what's yeah. happening now i can i can see it the best part about this is that i don't tell megan anything about what's going on so as we start to do the show, and we start, she is truly surprised. Yes, she's no, really like, what sure. is this maniac doing? 
And more importantly, what is this maniac going to make me do? <laughs> welcome to, you inside my head? Welcome to the magic of cooking stage left. Yeah. Um, here we go. So okay. All right. we're going to roll. And it's actually really helpful that we have two people doing this. Because when you do this, the first time you do this by yourself, you're going to cry. Okay? But it's okay. It's tears of joy. It's going to be good. So we're going to roll up. And the first roll, mm -hmm. um, kind of think of it as just a fold. So just okay. fold sort of like a half an inch over, okay. right? So just like fold, yeah. fold, and just do one fold and just stop there, right? Okay. Boom, and you've got your fold. Right. And this is where you want to check like, oh, is it kind of even? Like, you yeah. know, yours is a little above mine, so I'm just going to push okay. mine up a little bit okay, there. Great. Good. Okay, and then roll. And then roll. Right? Uh-huh. And just sort of like, and check it all the way along. So again, the, great that we got the two of us here. It's really yeah. going very nicely and very easily. Yeah, it is. I think you could also maybe use the parchment paper to help if you're by yourself. A little bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. to sort of get there. So then okay. we're at the edge, and we left that little bit of blank space there, right? Right. So that one, it's like we just wanted to stick to itself a little bit, so we just sort of like press that down. Okay. And what we will do, I'm going to run away for a second and get just a little bit of water. Oh, and okay. And the water will help it stick. All so. right. And what you do with the water is you just dabble your finger in there a little bit and just put it on the dough, which you could have done before we got to this point. You could have just done it, <laughs> but you put it on the, that edge of the dough. Exactly, yeah. Okay. And then that helps it stick it. Uh, a little bit of a glue. Okay. Because again, we've still got like flour, you know, this is dough, so it's got flour. And so when you put flour and water together, it becomes sticky. I'm going to put the seam side down. Okay. Now the thing that I'm going to recommend and I'm going to do right now is the puff pastry Again, it's got those layers of butter in there, and you want the butter to be as chill as possible. And we've been playing with this for a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to stick this in the refrigerator okay. for about 10 minutes. Okay, okay? Great. And yeah. then we're going to come back, and we're going to cut it into our little shapes. So this is where we're at now. Okay. Um, beautiful job. Nicely done. Okay. And we will be back in about 10 minutes to uh, cut this and get it into the oven. Great. Okay, so we are ready for the uh, final sort of like element of making our prosciutto gruyere pinwheel puffs yes and uh so we we had our um we we rolled this um with all those delicious layers in there um we chilled it a little bit again to sort of like bring the butter back together and then when it gets into the oven it's gonna go <clears throat> and all the all the moisture that's in the butter is gonna like puff up that pastry and it's gonna be like buttery delicious and fun yes now we just have to cut these and um we're gonna cut them into little rings Great. So uh, we're going to cut across. Get the sharpest knife you have. Yeah. Um, get the sharpest knife you have. Definitely not a butter knife for this one. And if all you have are little steak knives, at least try and like sharpen it or whatever if you have it. Um, because you don't want to crush the layers right. as best you can. And just sort of cut down. Ooh. And uh, this is even just the end piece. But you can, if you can see very closely what those little layers are going to look like. And then you lay them out flat like that on your cooking sheet there. Right. As I say that, uh, 400 degrees is what our oven is set at. Okay. And you wanna cut these, maybe what's that? What's about a half an inch? Yeah, I think Like so. about a half an inch. You could go a little thinner if you wanted. I wouldn't go too much thicker because it is going to puff up. Yeah. And you can see I even smushed that a little bit as I was yeah. you know, cutting it. And then just like pinch it back into space, right? Okay. okay. And, um, but you kinda wanna do this again, kinda quickly and kinda sort of like, um, Ready to do it. And it's, you can see already how I've cut off like three or four and how many more you're going to get. You're going to get a lot of these out of this. Yeah. Out of this. So it's a lot of, um, again, great party thing to bring. Um, and uh, lots of snacks for you if you don't feel like going to a party. That's right. If you just feel like cooking at home and not telling anybody you did this, yeah. that's cool too. Yeah, no, it's totally that's great. That's cool. Totally great. Not that I've done that. <laughs> a lot. Um, yeah, it, it's also, you remember that other puff pastry put in the refrigerator? Yeah. Some of this might go to a party. Some of it might not go to a party. Might not. Yeah. Might not make it. <laughs> <laughs>run here and we wanted to uh, give them a little bit of space because uh, yeah. they are going to puff uh, so they're going to go in the oven 400 degrees 
for about 12 minutes. Okay. Uh, and we will see what happens. We'll see the magic when they come out. Yeah. Okay, our prosciutto gris air pinwheel puffs are ready to come out of the oven. Mm -hmm. uh, they did bake a little bit longer. They weren't brown when we checked them at about uh, 12 minutes. And so it was probably like 15 or 16 minutes, but again, start at 12 minutes, depending on your oven. Ooh. And there we are. Delicious looking. Again, giant wow factor on those, Yeah, right? they really puff oh, up. They puff up and they are beautiful and delicious. Look how pretty they look. Delicious. Yeah. They're probably too hot to eat. I'm gonna try. They smell so good. They smell so good. Mm, such a good taste. And see the beautiful pinwheel design. Nicely yeah. done. Beautiful pinwheel design of layers of prosciutto and gruyere, parmesan. Yep. Mm. So good. Mm. It's so delicious. It's crispy and buttery. Mm -hmm. I could really taste the Gruyere cheese in yeah. there and the saltiness of the prosciutto. Mm -hmm. uh, and these are good. Uh, we just couldn't help ourselves and mm -hmm. shove them in our face now, but they actually are good at room temperature. Don't mm -hmm. want to chill them. You don't want to put them, you don't want to put them in the refrigerator. Oh. Um, you want to leave them out and you can serve them. You can maybe make them, you know, they're going to be good for a day or so. Mm -hmm. These are not going to last for a day. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So flaky and delicious, crunchy, yummy. Mm -hmm. And you saw, really pretty easy, right? Mm hmm Wasn't super hard. Mm-mm. Mm. So, um, mm, buttery fingers. Mm, I know, right? Prosciutto, gris air, pinwheel puffs. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> And if I can do it, you can definitely do it. You can definitely do it. Yeah. 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 You got this. We believe in you. Yeah, we do. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to put my face as close to these as possible. I think I, that, yeah. Yeah. Breathe it in. Mm. All right, everybody. Once again, I'm Andrew. I'm Megan. And this has been Cooking, Cooking Stage, Stage Left. Left. Ha <laughs> ha